Hello, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab, and this is another video about X-Shape. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about the section view. So we're in X-Shape right now, and we're working on um, a model here. And I'm curious as to what's going on inside the model. Um, it's hard to see inside things, uh, and so we, we want to use a view, a view called a section view, where we can cut the model and look inside it without changing anything about the model. Um, it, you'd think this might be under the view tool, but if you're in X shape, which I am in X shape, you can tell because I have the subdivision right here. If you're not in X shape, you can always tap the X and switch to X shape. Um, it's actually in the tools menu. So here it is. It says section view. And when I turn it on, I get um, options of having it parallel to the XY plane, the YZ plane, or the ZY plane, or some other plane. Um, you can change uh, angles and things like that, but I usually just drag this back and forth. So maybe I want to see what's going on on the inside. Now, I can't really tell what's going on on the inside because everything's just blue. But if I turn on that section view, you can see it's highlighted in blue here. I can turn it off, and I can turn it back on. And if I hit this check mark, it stays on. But the issue here is that I'm not actually editing my subdivision. So um, you can see I actually have two subdivisions here. So that actually is telling me a little bit here. If I edit this subdivision by double-clicking it, you can kind of see what's going on inside. You can see, oh look, see this inside the subdivision, there's this surface. So these subdivisions are not together. Um, and if I close that subdivision and I look inside this first subdivision here, you can see what's going on. And you can even operate and do things while the section view is turned on like this, okay? Um, so now that I know that that the, these two subdivisions are not going to be 3D printable because they are overlapping. I can switch to X Design, and I can go to the Features menu. And under here, hiding underneath Split, I can combine these two. So if I wanted these to look like this when I was done 3D printing it, I would add this body. Let's see if I can get it to select, and this body, body one, body two. We're going to add, hit the check mark. Okay, everything looks good, and um, I can you can see in X Design I still have that section view mode. Okay, so I can turn on the section view. Again, you can't really see though. So um, I don't know if I edit the combine. Well, let me see. No, I don't think so. Um, but if I edit the subdivision, I think it's going to go back before the combine. Let's see what happens. It's going to switch to X shape. It's going to go back before the combine. So I can't really see inside. This blue This blue business is new. I hadn't run into this before. So, But you can tell by the, the fact that there is no flickering shadow here that this is all one piece. I just can't see the inside of the subdivision. If you really want to see the inside of the subdivision, you can temporarily cut it, uh, which is what I'm going to talk about in the next video when we talk about how to um, actually cut into uh, these surfaces and uh, make sure that you can actually poke holes in the surface that make it not 3D printable. Okay.